Are you struggling to keep up with your demanding email inbox? In this video, I'm going to give you some strategies that I help my clients with when they are overwhelmed with their demanding inbox as their business manager to help them take control of their inboxes once and for all. <laughs> Hi, my name is Samantha. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel. I am all about helping you save time and mental energy in your online business. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit subscribe so you don't miss a helpful video. And if you like this video and want to see more like this one, please hit the like button. All right, let's get into the tips. All right, so one tip I have for you to help you take control of your email inbox is to time block. Set aside a time, a specific time in your calendar to check your email, and that is the time that you are going to check your email, and you're not gonna check your email any other time in, that, in the day. You're only going to check it during that specific time block, or you can have two small time blocks for it during your day, depending how just how many emails you get, you might need two. You need to set those specific times and stick with them. This way you're not going in and out of your inbox throughout the day and spending time switching from a task, going to check an email and letting it take over your whole day. And make sure that you turn off your email notifications so that they don't distract you and make you want to go check your email when it's not the time to check your email. Another tip I have for you when it comes to taking control of your email inbox is to use templates. If you find yourself repeating the same sentence or paragraph or email over and over and over again in response to email inquiries, then you're going to want to create email templates to reuse over and over again so that you don't have to spend that time typing out that response each and every time. So I know that some email service providers do allow you to do this right within the software. I know Gmail does. I personally use Gmail and it's super easy to set up in Gmail. So look into that and look into whatever your email service provider is and they probably have an option as well. If your software does not allow you to do that, you can always pop it in to your Asana or whatever project management system you use or wherever you keep track of all the things and then you can just copy and paste it for the next time you need to use it okay I know you know this one but I need to mention it because it is important and a lot of people don't do it even though you do know it so the next way that you can take control of your email inbox is to unsubscribe from all those emails that you don't read anyway <laughs> Now I know it's easy to just go in and just delete them, right? That's what you do, that's what you've been doing for years and how is that working out for you? <laughs> you need to actually click into the email and click that unsubscribe button at the bottom. I know it takes a couple of extra steps. It takes a little bit longer than deleting, but in the long run, it's gonna save you so much time and mental energy. You need to reduce that clutter because when you go into your inbox and you see all these emails, that's overwhelming and that is going to be a distraction it's going to overwhelm you and it's just better to have less emails overall so you need to unsubscribe you need to unsubscribe to those just just do it just hit the unsubscribe button now I know that this is a really common thing for people to do so comment below the word unsubscribe if you are guilty of just deleting those emails instead of unsubscribing the next tip I have for you when it comes to email management is to automate things as much as possible so I know again I use Gmail so in Gmail it allows you to set up filters you can even send emails they don't even have to go into your inbox they can go straight into a folder straight into a label and you do not need to see them until you need to see them and when it's time to check those <laughs> because maybe not every email needs to go to your inbox right if you have a membership community you, uh, with like comments that you you want to get those emails but you have set times because you're time blocking you have set times when you're going to check those specific emails so that you can respond to them you can get those sent straight to a folder so that you can easily manage your time when it comes to those tasks. So go in Gmail and play around or whatever your service provider is and play around with the filters because and just see what all you can do. There's a lot you can do with those filters to save you time. The next tip I have for you when it comes to managing your email inbox is to delegate. Start delegating or delegate more if you're already delegating. Hand things off to your team members as much as possible. You do not need to be responding to all of your emails. You do not need to be looking at every single email. Wherever possible, delegate those tasks to your team. And this is going to be the best option because it actually takes up zero of your time in the long run because you don't even need to look at the emails. Your team is managing it all for you. <laughs> 
All right, those are my tips for you today. I hope that they help you so much, but you have to go and implement them, take what I said, and really go use them. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful, and I will see you next week.